welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all okay or if you're new here welcome so today is wednesday the 6th of january and i have not filmed a single thing since we last spoke um if you've watched my last vlog you'll know that i've been suffering with a really bad tube, feeding tube infection and i have been so sick this week i've just felt awful so i've literally not filmed anything this week but it's the evening time now and i'm feeling a lot better um sorry one sec i'm saying i'm feeling better but i'm still feeling really like i've got like a lot of nausea but i think it's the antibiotics that making me feel really sick i don't know if anyone else feels like that when um when they're on antibiotics but i'm just doing my night meds so i'll just sort of jump on now and say hello and how are you all um i'll just give you a bit of an update actually i'll show you what it looks like at the minute i've just got some gauze on so i've just cleaned it that's why so it's still looking really inflamed but personally it's looking a lot better than it was so that's good that's positive and i don't really have any other updates for you to be completely honest the only update i've really got is it's my birthday tomorrow so i'm turning 24 years old and i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> like I always, when you're younger, I feel like you always just have this. I'm just putting my tube on. That's why I'm like touching down there. Um, I always feel like when you're younger, like 12, 13, 14, 15 or whatever, you always have this plan in your head that, you know, by your kind of mid 20s, like 24, 25, you'll be engaged. You'll be living in your own house. You'll be getting married soon. And let's just put things into perspective. We're in another national lockdown. I still live at home with my parents. We will soon be moving into a caravan. I am not engaged. I don't own my own home. <laughs> Things just don't turn out the way you think they do when you watch all these Disney princess movies, do they? Um, but it's okay because I'm really content with my life and I think it's really important not to have them expectations and not put yourself down when you're not at that point when you think you are going to be in life. So I'm okay and even though I'm going to be spending my birthday in a national lockdown, like we can't even go out for tea, we can't do anything, um, I'm really kind of not bothered about it. I know it sounds really bad because I probably should be, but I'm really not. And I know this lockdown... It's probably affected a lot of people and don't get me wrong i'm not exactly thrilled about it but it, i just personally think it was really really needed so in a way i'm kind of glad to we're in lockdown because i think people were just being stupid like the amount of people that i saw on new year's eve that was like partying it was mixing with like 20 30 people i think it needed this lockdown to be put in place for people to kind of actually take things seriously again so i am sort of glad that we're in lockdown just for that main reason so yeah like i said um just to conclude i am feeling a lot better now thank you so much for all your messages and like love like just sending me this week because it's really meant a lot and i've really felt like i have needed so many pick-me-ups because i've gone through a really rocky path this week like mentally and physically so i honestly appreciate oh appreciate you guys so much like honestly i really 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 do i can't even tell you how much it means to me when you wish me well and as much as i think about you all the time it means a lot to know that you think about me too so yeah this is probably a really long intro but i was just kind of ranting about the fact that i'm going to be 24 and i don't know how i feel about it <laughs> so i know probably if any of you are watching this are older than me you're going to be like oh my god you're so young and i know i'm young but i have the body of what feels like a 90 year old sometimes the way I complain about my aches and pains and I'm tired and let's not go there. So yeah, I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow on my birthday. There's not going to be probably much things exciting going on, but I'll try and make it as exciting as possible for you. Hopefully I'm feeling okay and the antibiotics aren't making me feel too sick. So yeah, I'm just going to finish off my night meds now and I hope you enjoy this vlog. I think I'm possibly the tiredest 24 year old on the planet right now <laughs> so i've just woken up now and it's my birthday so it's just actually been snowing and to be completely honest with you i don't actually remember a single single time my birthday has ever snowed so that's exciting um so i've woken up my dad's already up my mum's at work my mum's called me to say happy birthday and she's left a card with my dad which i've lost oh it's over you know wish me happy birthday? Hold up to
Just a minute Been looking for some help Just to find myself <laughs> Happy birthday! This is when you know your birthday is in January <laughs> Oh my god, thank you <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so my granny's actually just turned up now, but she's <laughs> stuck behind the bin men. So the bin men have just come in the courtyard and she's stuck right behind them and she's in a massive rush because she's going to get a COVID vaccine as well. I also have a meeting in two minutes, so this is really not good timing, granny. <laughs> so I'm just stood at the door now, just waiting for the bin men to go so that I can, my granny can get in and I can get my card off her. <laughs> Who is it, Alfie? It's my granny. I don't know if you can see, but it is actually snowing. You probably can't see it at all because it's really fine. It's snowing again. Like, it's never snowed on my birthday. Oh, thank you. I've another one we get for you. Have you? Yeah. I thought you weren't getting me anything. Ah! Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh my god. That is huge! I'm excited. Oh my gosh, right, she's got me a slow cooker. <laughs> That's someone probably telling her that I wanted one of these. So, because I'm moving into the caravan, like, and not long like when we move house obviously once i move out from james house and move into caravan i need to learn to cook because i'm going to be sort of living by myself so i said that i really wanted a slow cooker so i could start learning how to make things so she's got me one that's really nice of her um and i was in sainsbury's the other day with my mum and i said that oh i wonder if i should get that because i really want one but then i said oh no i'll just wait till we move into caravan so that was really nice she got me that <laughs> You know you turn in a bit older when you start getting things like this for your birthdays. Oh my god! I just got the cutest thing ever. So, someone that I um, connected with this year. Oh my god, where should I put my camera? I'm really excited. I'll stand here. Um, someone that I connected with on Instagram called Eve. I uh, connected with her like, I'd say probably about six months ago, seven months ago, I'm not actually sure. But basically she lives really close to me and she saw me on line and she's actually got a lot of like chronic illnesses as well and we literally speak near enough every day she's the nicest human being i've ever met in my whole entire life and she messaged me yesterday and was like can you give me your address i want to drop a card off and i was like oh my god like of course that's fine she lives literally so close to me and it's so crazy the fact that we're so similar and i've never met her in my whole entire life but she lives so close and she just dropped me off some flowers and a card Okay, so I think I'm gonna just put these in a vase really quickly. Not gonna lie, just had to ring my mum to say, Mum, how do you put flowers in a vase correctly? Because I don't really get flowers ever. So I, honestly, I'm just so happy. This is just the most thoughtful thing ever. Like, really, really thoughtful. So I'm gonna put these in a vase quickly. Don't know if I'm gonna do it right, so don't judge, but let's just give this a go. <laughs> Okay, my brother's just rang me from New Zealand. <laughs> I can't see you very well. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alfie, come on! Ready to ask this? Kitchen! Alfie, come on! <laughs> oh, Dad! <laughs> oh, Riley! Look at all the snow! <laughs> Oh, he slipped. Hello. Okay, so 
James just wants to tell you all really quickly about the really special birthday gift he's just given me. Damn straight. We just hit 150 wins on Warzone. She wasn't as happy as I thought she was gonna be. I'm there for your big moments. Any lads out there know that is a big thing. <laughs> Alison will be watching with her husband, Dean. And they'll be really impressed with you because they play COD too and he watches your streams. Does he? Yeah. What a guy. They both play COD. Alright, nice to you. Hey, I am coming to you from the eve of my birthday. Is it the eve when it's the evening of your birthday or is it the eve the day before your birthday? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm coming to you from the evening time of my birthday. So we're still on January the 7th today. Um, it has been, do you know what? Right, so my birthday actually started off pretty lonely. Like, you know, everyone was working, James was upstairs. Like, I just felt so lonely this morning. But as the day has gone on, I've honestly had the most special birthday ever. Like, a lot more special than I thought it would be. Um, I've actually had KFC for my tea. And wow, wait, am I not feeling good now? And it's also got to a time of the night where my tube is starting to really hurt me because I've done a lot of manoeuvres today. So it's really, really causing me a lot of pain right now. So I've put, I might as well just show you, some gauze on it today. So that's just keeping it in place because I can't put, for anyone that's wondering by the way, I've not been using my tubey pads all week because when it, it dries up and the tubey pad's stuck to it, I can't tell you how much hurt it is to take it off. Even when I wet it, it basically rips the skin that it's been stuck to, so it makes it worse. So when it's infected like this, I can't wear tubey pads. So that's my reason for just putting... <coughs> oh my God, I actually thought I was gonna be sick then. Okay. Oh my God. That's because I've just had so much KFC. Um, like I said previously, if you haven't already, I will link the video down below to explain about me eating because um, literally nothing I eat or drink stays in. Even this delicious cup of tea that I'm drinking right now will be coming back up soon. It's really annoying but days like today, like I said in that video, days like today when it's your birthday and you want to do stuff, it's just worth it. Anyway, I just want to show you um, some really special things that I got today. So I'll show you this one first actually, because um, you might be more interested in this one, just because it's medical related. So I subscribe to Lula Belly by Ellie, so they're the tubey pads that I always get. I she has like a, um, a six month subscription, so you get a tubey pad every month, it's like a, um, not a rare one, but it's a unique one that it's not on the website. So because it was my birthday, so these are what the subscription boxes look like. They're literally just these little cute boxes and you normally, I'll take this out, but you normally get like a little handwritten note and then you get your tubey pad of the month. So my tubey pad of the month is this really, really cool sloth one. Let me just put my hand behind that so you can see properly. Really cool sloth one. And then because it was my birthday, she also sent the cutest little birthday cake with the cutest birthday pad ever. I'm sorry, but how cute is that? Honestly, if my tube wasn't infected right now, I'd have had this on, absolutely would have had this on, but I'm gonna save it for when I can actually cope with it on. So that was just so lovely to, especially to get it on my birthday as well. I didn't expect it would come on my birthday. Now this is the most, <laughs> so one of my best friends, is called Megan and she had a beautiful, beautiful baby girl um, last year. So obviously it's been so upsetting because I've not really been able to spend that much time with her and it's been really, really hard because we've been in lockdown, like the worst, it's been so horrible because I've not been able to do a baby shower with her, I've not been able to do baby shopping with her and then when the baby was born, I couldn't see her for so long and luckily when we had that period of time where we was allowed to do stuff, I met her. I literally cried my eyes out before. I'm actually, I might insert the clip of when I received it before because I just, James was recording me and I didn't know he was recording me so it's like the worst angle ever because it was like recording me from up and my joggers are dirty. Like, it's just not a good angle but I might insert it if I'm feeling brave enough. But anyway. I need an er extra pair of pants to help me learn and grow. I think that yours would be the best as mummy and daddy told me so. Will you be? Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I mean, I knew they were sending you something, I just didn't know it was going to be that. I'm literally so grown up now. Like, I'm 24 years old. I don't drink alcohol. All I do is drink cups of tea. I have back pains, knee pains. Like, and I'm going to be a godmother. Like, I'm literally so excited. I've never been a godmother ever. And just to even be able to just have the privilege to, you know, just be thought of for this i'm just so overwhelmed so she um sent me this beautiful gift of it that was it's one of them wish bracelets if you've ever seen it so um i don't know if you're gonna see this probably because of the light but it just says will you be my godmother and it's basically it's kind of i don't know if it's made of string but it's basically made of material that eventually after time it wears off and it will eventually snap so it says close your eyes and make a wish put this bracelet on your wrist when it frays and breaks in two your dreams and wishes will come true so basically you wear it and then when it snaps and falls off you make a wish so probably the next i don't know how long they actually last for i've never ever ever had one of these so however long it's on for for the next few vlogs weeks months years <laughs> i don't know you'll see me probably wearing this um so it's just the most beautiful thoughtful thing that i've ever ever got on my birthday like it's just such a special gift so yeah it's just it's been a really special birthday and as much as we're in lockdown my tube is causing me freaking agony um it's been a special day um all the messages that you've all sent me is just it's been so nice and especially as i said this week's been so rocky and rough that it's really just it's just been really really special so thank you so much i'm gonna say bye to you now i have been talking for eight minutes and two seconds i feel like i might have to cut some of this out because i just can't stop talking so thank you so much if you've made it this far i love you so much and thank you for watching i'll speak to you all really soon i've had some video requests so i am going to get on to them um still if you want a video request or anything like that feel free to drop it in the comments i always see my comments so just let me know Thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, please subscribe. It's down below. And if you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. I really feel like a very special 24 year old today. <laughs> My 24. Oh, right. I need to start complaining I'm 24. So, right. Thank you so much again. I'll speak to you all soon.